passing across the store. Please remember to wash your hands often for at least 20 seconds. Stay home if you're sick and practice good social distancing of at least six feet when possible. To make that easier, we're limiting the number of shoppers inside the store. Associates and signs will direct you. Loitering inside or outside the store is strictly prohibited. Thank you for choosing Walmart. To get to the point of the video, what has the last two years taught us? Let's get into it. People are programmable. It's also become painfully clear that the best and the brightest don't realize this. We can definitely see two different worlds play out in real time. People don't want to acknowledge the flip-flopping that's happened. You see tweets where people change their minds in a matter of weeks, and you're not quite sure if it's just political virtue signaling or because they have legitimately had their views changed for one reason or another. People have latched on to PPE. They think that by wearing gloves and a mask that they're 100% safe. However, they choose not to educate themselves on how proper PPE wear should be. As far as I was taught, you never use these single-use items more than once, hence the name single-use. But people are adamant about keeping the same masks on, using gloves to touch all the different items in the store, and then somehow, because they've made it to their vehicle, it's 100% safe. If you have any knowledge of how germs, bacteria, viruses spread, you'd know that they are still very, very contaminated, and there's a reason that NBC suits are a thing. Life is nuanced, but in the last two years, that went right out the window. Which leads me to the next thing that's become painfully clear. Despite all the advances of the modern world, people are definitely tribal. We've watched our neighbors split themselves between politics. We've watched sub-communities split themselves by race. And we have definitely seen people split themselves up by religion. And in an interesting twist, we can now include science with religion. Lots of free thinkers out there would be terrified to hear a Man refer to himself as the science and to stop questioning the science. True science always poses questions. True science can always be questioned because we can revisit the theory again and again and again and see if we can break it or if we can alter it in some way. While science is always changing and always has to be questioned, there is also no question that our supply chain is extremely fragile. Our just-in-time delivery model has definitely shown some weaknesses, especially during the early days of this situation where there was a run on toilet paper. Nothing made sense. There were meat shortages due to the lack of workers to be able to load it, to transport it, and to stock it. If you live in a major metropolitan area, it's probably a good idea to think about this the next time there's another major emergency or a rumor of one. Now, during the initial 15-day lockdown, many people found themselves working at home. Office workers, white-collar types, tech guys, educators. There is the eye-opening fact, and I think everybody learned this. Without certain jobs, life as we know it would collapse. Some jobs are never going to go away, no matter what happens. People that repair things. You have security, the military, police, fire, medicine, and you still have store workers and people that deliver food. These jobs will always be essential. One of the biggest things that this infection has taught us is that despite how we feel, despite what the media says we should say, despite the social backlash that might happen if you tell the truth, physical fitness is important. Lots of fatalities from this illness were in people that had four or more comorbidities. We all know what healthy looks like. Please strive to meet it as best as you can. So we've learned all this, last two years. If we didn't realize it before, we definitely do now. Build up your supplies, make friends with farmers, start a garden of your own. And if you're in the rural area, chances are you probably already know what to do. If supply lines are going to be affected in the long run, you need to become comfortable with seasonal products. Also, a strong community helps. The friends and family that you love, keep them close. Pay attention to who they're influenced by. Because if we're going to be honest about the last two years, a lot of the problems now aren't only because of the virus. And lastly, this is going to be the most personal decision you can make. 
But if you don't like what's going on in your local area because of what you see or because of how they handle something, if it matters that much to you, you can always move. I understand that there's nuance when it comes to this decision. That's why I said it's a very personal one. Without a good support system, without a good financial cushion, and depending where you live, you might not have that financial cushion. It's going to be extremely difficult for you to be comfortable depending on where you go. There is no escaping any of these lessons because we're hit in the face with them every day. So prepare for all outcomes, even the crazy ones, because who knows, after these last two years, we're gonna look back and say, you know what? I thought it was crazy in 2021, 2022. It's crazy now, and it might just keep going on like this forever. Who knows? We'll see. So this is my first video in a long time. I hope I got you thinking. If you want to talk to me directly, my comment section is always going to be open. As long as it doesn't look like some kind of bot response, I like talking to people. I like having my views challenged. I like having discussions. A good discussion is a good way to know that you're still alive and you're still using that brain of yours. So everybody, until the next video, take care of yourselves, be good, stay safe, and have a good one. I just wanna stay bad, stay mad, shit by my shoulder cause they treat me like an outcast I ain't gonna take that, stay back, I'll be swinging hard till the hits come in all caps I ain't gonna lay back, pray that someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like that I ain't gonna wait, that's all fact, give me one shot and I'll never get the throne back